Hello, my dear friends! In this video, I am excited to introduce a new series called Monthly Plant. In this series, we will explore and draw a new plant every month. Today, we are diving into the study of new plant, examining its structure up close, including its leaves, stems, flowers and, of course, its fruits. This month, I am delighted to introduce you a truly fascinating plant, the cotton plant. Right here in my hands, you can see a fully developed cotton plant with its soft, fluffy fibers. Interestingly, I grew this cotton myself from a tiny seed. I spent the entire summer and autumn growing, and I am excited to share more details about the growth process of this incredible plant. Here is a cotton sprout that is just two weeks old. Look closely, you can already see its two first tiny leaves. Don't they look like two little hearts? Let's keep watching to see how it grows and develops. Our little cotton plant has now grown its first mature leaves. This is how it looks one month and a half into its life. Look at how big and beautiful they are. I can't wait to see the next stage when the flowers begin to bloom. Here's what a cotton flower looks like. First, the plant produces these unique and interesting buds. There are so many of them. Then, from these buds, delicate, creamy white flowers begin to emerge. The flowers are very large, but they don't last long, just about one day. After that, the flower curls into a tube, dries out, and is replaced by a green fruit that begins to form in its place. Now we are at the almost final stage of growth, the formation of the green balls. These are the pots from which the fluffy white cotton will eventually emerge. Over time, the balls grow larger and become firm and dense. Their outer skin is quite tough, but eventually it splits open along the seams, revealing the soft fluffy cotton inside. Now you can see the final stage of the plant's growth. Winter has arrived and it's gotten cold, so I've moved the cotton pots into my studio. Let me show you how the plant looks with its fully open and fluffy fibers. Cotton plants need warmth and a long period of sunlight to thrive. Unfortunately, where I live, winter starts early and cotton wouldn't be able to complete its growth cycle outdoors. So, I created artificial conditions for it on my windowsill to ensure I could see those long-awaited fluffy balls. Just look at this, the plant keeps growing even in winter. It's producing new buds that may eventually turn into flowers. Let's carefully take a peek inside on the buds. We'll do this very delicately to avoid damaging it. Now, let's take a closer look at the key parts of the cotton plant that I'll later use for my illustrations. I'll focus on the most interesting details of this plant, so let's begin! The leaves are simple and have an elegant shape. They grow alternately along the stem and are long petioled. Each leaf typically has three to five lobes with triangular ovate pointed tips. Unfortunately, I can't show you a cotton flower right now, but let's take a closer look at the green balls instead. The fruit is a multi-seeded capsule covered with long fibers. It can be round or oval and divided into 3 to 5 segments. As the ball matures, it splits along its seams, revealing numerous dark brown seeds tucked inside. Cotton fibers are the fine, soft hairs that grow on the surface of the cotton seeds. These fibers are what we typically think of as cotton. There is not only soft and fluffy to the touch, but also very useful. For thousands of years, they've been used to make fabrics that are both strong and comfortable. It's amazing how these simple fibers can be turned into fabrics we use every day. Now, let's take some fluffy cotton and try to remove the seeds together. 
the things are deeply embedded within the white fibers, making them quite challenging to extract. Once we manage to free them, the seeds are small and oblong. It's amazing to think that such a tiny seed has the potential to grow into a large, strong plant, truly a wonder of nature. So, today we've explored an amazing plant in detail, and now it's time to bring all these elements to life on paper. I'll be working in my favorite sketchbook, adding yet another beautiful plant to my botanical diary. If you are interested in seeing how the cotton plant turns into a drawing, keep watching. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on new videos. Let's create together. See you!